What's going on guys? It is Tuesday morning and of course last night was one of the most controversial endings to a Monday Night Football game or any football game that I have seen in a long time. It was the Packers against the Seahawks of course. You've all probably seen the replays and everybody talking about it and everybody is still talking about it on ESPN and every other outlet out there. So I just want to talk about it a little bit more because I want to talk why I don't think it was a catch in the first place and why I don't think it was a simultaneous catch by Golden Tate. Now, now, I've already said it was an interception, but I want to say why it was not a catch. So, when you watch this replay, which I've seen about 500 times after the, last night, and I stayed up later than I wanted to because I was watching replays and I was reading different articles and whatnot. And so when I look at the replay of this play, what I see is I see MD Jennings going up and making the interception with both hands. He pulls it into his body, and then Golden Tate, he puts his arms, you can't really see from the angles that I've seen. It looks like he has his arms perhaps on the football, perhaps both arms are on the football, but his uh, Golden Tate's feet do touch the ground first, which would mean that he would have the first catch, because the catch is not made until one player touches the ground and has complete control with his feet or his body, and Golden Tate, his feet to touch the ground, but I'm arguing that he did not have control of the football, and that's why I'm looking at the rule book here, because it says, Article 3, completed or intercepted pass, a player who makes a catch may advance the ball, a forward pass is complete by the offense or intercepted by the defense, if a player who is inbounds, A, secures control of the ball in his hands or arms prior to the ball touching the ground, and touches the ground inbounds with both feet or any part of his body other than his hands, and maintains control of the ball long enough after after A and B have been fulfilled to enable him to perform any acts common to the game, maintaining control long enough to pitch it, pass it, advance with it, or avoid or ward off an opponent, etc. And so my argument with this play, and I'm only making this video because I have seen people who believe it is a simultaneous catch, and I want to say why I believe it is not. I don't think A was fulfilled, which A and B have to be fulfilled in this, by definition of this rule, to have control of a pass to have a completed catch. And so, did Golden Tate secure control of the ball in his hands or arms prior to the ball touching the ground? No, I would say he did not, because MD Jennings had the ball pinned against his body with both arms securing it and making sure that he was the one who caught the ball. But Golden Tate, he had he looked like he has arms on the ball, his palms may have been touching the ball, and it, it was hard to see from the angles we've seen, but we have seen good enough angles, I think, to see that Golden Tate did not have control of this football. And so I would say Golden Tate was perhaps touching the football, but did not have a catch because there was lack of control. The control was to MD Jennings, and Golden Tate simply had his arms near or on the ball, but never had a grab of it and it was never pinning against his body and to me he did not do anything to have this be called a catch or to even be having a simultaneous catch because I don't think a simultaneous catch first of all by the rule book even shows it here and they show this rule on TV and online on articles and whatnot but the simultaneous catch rule is if a pass is caught simultaneously by two eligible opponents and both players retain it the ball belongs to the passers so it's basically a tie goes to the runner rule and now I want to look at one more rule, which is for players going to the ground. If a player goes to the ground in the act of catching a pass, with or without contact by an opponent, he must maintain control of the ball throughout the process of contacting the ground, whether in the field of play or in the end zone. If he loses the ball and the ball touches the ground before he regains control, the pass is incomplete. If he regains control prior to the ball touching the ground, the pass is complete. And there's also a disclaimer at the bottom that says the requirements for a catch in the end zone are the same as the requirements for a catch in the field of play. And so once again, if you look at the replay of this catch, there's one angle that's, uh, I don't know what angle you would call it, but you can see kind of the front of the play happening. And what you see is MD Jennings jumping up, making the catch with his hands, pulling it into his body, and then Golden Tate does his best to wrestle the football away from Jennings, and it looks like his arm is maybe touching the ball, perhaps his palms are touching it, but I don't think Golden Tate has control of the football, and even if he does, he does not complete the act of the catch going to the ground. He actually takes his arm off and puts it back on. Meanwhile, MD Jennings has complete control of the football, and his feet are touching the ground, and both 
players are now falling to the ground in the end zone. And so I don't think Golden Tate ever had control of the football, ever had anything to constitute a simultaneous catch, and ever actually had possession of the football. The ball is merely pinned against MD Jennings' chest, and Golden Tate had his arms perhaps on the football, but never had the ball in his grasp. Never was a Golden Tate catch, but the official who did not see the play best came up and made the call, and it was the wrong call. The back judge had a better angle and called it a touchback, which would have meant that MD Jennings had the interception. And the referees never even talked about the call, just one overruled the other. And so to me, Golden Tate never had control of the football, and even if he did, he took his arm off of the football, which I don't think he had control of in the first place, and MD Jennings maintained control throughout the process of the catch, although Golden Tate touched the ground first with his legs. He did not maintain control of the ball and did not have a simultaneous catch with MD Jennings. MD Jennings had the catch first and he had it last because Golden Tate never caught this football. And so guys, that is my interpretation of the NFL rules regarding a catch going to the ground, simultaneous catch, and what I think about this play, I still stand by my stance of this being an interception for MD Jennings and the Packers being screwed out of a victory by an incapable ref making a call that he should not have and should have conferred with the other ref in the first place if he's going to make an official call that would have been the deciding factor in a football game. But as it stands right now, the Seattle Seahawks got the victory last night, their defense did play phenomenal, but this play is going to overshadow the play of the Seattle defense. and. And, uh, this entire mess that's come with it and hopefully this is my last time talking about this play in a video but uh, hopefully my analysis is correct I mean that's my interpretation of the rules and my idea of control is more than just having your hands or arms on the ball while someone else has it pinned against their chest and if someone can prove me wrong and say that Golden Tate had control of the ball and he should have gotten the touchdown catch, then I'll admit that I'm wrong, but I don't believe that I am. And so I'll leave it up to you guys in the discussion once again, hopefully my last time talking about this in a video, but hopefully it shed some light on the catch, and hopefully if you watch a replay while listening to this video, maybe it'll help you out a little bit understanding why I don't believe this was a catch in the first place. But anyways, guys, have a great day, and uh, hopefully I have some better NFL stories to talk about next week and no major controversy like this. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.